Hello, my name is Metin Adabashir. This is 313th part of explanation of my theory, according to my theory and my formulas. Planck's constant is non-quantized angular momentum of photon in an atom. This is hydrogen, for instance. This is electron motion form. This is proton. Ground state at ground state. When we multiply the wavelength radius of the three-dimensional electron, its tangential speed component, this is point, tangential speed component point mass, 3.8510 to the minus 36 kilogram, and the tangential speed, 1,884,000 km per second, as I told you before. When we multiply three of them, we find the angular momentum. In other words, we find Planck's constant. Planck's constant is nothing but this angular momentum. And physics is unaware of it. Physics doesn't discern this. This is Niels Bohr formula. And after that, other quantized angular momentum applications in Quantum physics, completely wrong. I will show you now. Yes. When we multiply 91.155 nanometer, like this, like this, then this is wavelength, radius, point, tangential speed component mass, here, this is my formula, mass formula, point on electron or photon mass formula, 3.85 10 to the minus 36 kilogram and 18.84 10 to the 8 meter per second or 1,884,000 km per second. This is what? This is Planck's constant, angular moment. Not this. Not this. And, and, likewise, likewise, when we multiply the wavelength of electron its C component, C component, point mass, here this is formula, this is tangential velocity component mass, this is speed of light component mass, when, likewise, when we multiply the wavelength of electron, its speed of light component point mass, uh, and the speed of light, we find again 6.626 10 to the minus 34 kilogram meter square per second. In other words, Planck's constant again. We find angular moment, in other words, Planck's constant. Yes, again. Mass. Mass here does not represent rest mass. There is no such thing as rest mass, inertial mass, because every point, every point on an electron is in motion. Point mass of an electron is a variable that depends on 
the wavelength of the electron. The wavelength and point mass of the electron are variables and the product of these two variables is a constant. C component, wavelength and mass product different constant that I put forth and tangential velocity component wavelength and mass product of wavelength and mass different like what yes M, C, and multiplied by lambda N equals to two hundred twenty point eight six eight five six ten to the minus forty four kilogram meter. And m v g n multiplied by lambda n is equal to thirty five point seven one seven ten to the minus forty four kilogram meter Mine constants. Okay. Yes. Yes. Electron is not a static object, it is not an object, it is motion form. It is intrinsic, immanent, ring-shaped, spherical, perpetual, cyclical, angular motion form of metasensation perception matter. When we chose an arbitrary imaginary point on electron motion forms motion surface, we can easily find this point, mass, angular momentum, energy, tangential speed, wave velocity, etc. In my theoretical terminology, this point is nothing but the photon. Two. The proton-bound electron in an atom cannot emit the sequential consecutive waves as a free electron emits. And this is proton bound. Electron motion form makes joint motion with proton axis. Joint axis. Okay. And they are coaxial. And what? Um, coaxial. Yes, yes. Concentric, concentric. Okay. The proton bound electron in an atom continuously cycles as a ring shaped sphere wave. However, the proton bound electron expands, expands. This is ground state hydrogen atom, proton bound, okay, this is proton, when free electrons, for instance, second n is equal to 2, second wave, second wave, square of wave number, at the rate of square wave number, this electron motion form expand. 
Now it is 364.62 nanometer. Expand. Okay, it expands. This is ground state. First energy level. According to me, highest energy level. Okay, this is smaller energy level. Okay, wait, please. Electron expands under the influence of free electron waves and contracts when this effect disappears. The speed of this expansion and contraction of the proton bound electron is the speed of light. A single wave pulse occurs as a result of each expansion and contraction of the proton bound electron, according to me. Spectral line. Each spectral line is single wave pulse, as I told you before. Why? The proton bound electron expands at the speed of light due to external influence of free electron motion forms consecutive wave. Its point mass, when it, is, it expands, its point mass decreases in proportion to the expanding wavelength. Now, new wavelength. Old wavelength like 1.155, new wavelength enlarged 364.6 nanometer. Okay, then decreases point mass. This point mass decreases, decreases in proportion to the expanding wavelength. Since the product of point mass and wavelength will be constant, as I told you now. In all cases and at each energy level, the angular momentum, Planck's constant, will also be constant and will not be quantized. At each energy level, n is equal 1, first energy level, second energy level, n is equal 2, angular momentum is not quantized and is the same are the same. Okay, 6.6. .6. And when we account, according to my formulas, okay, energy drops, mass drops, energy drops, mass is smaller, mass is smaller, wavelength is larger, but finally, Angular momentum are the same. Angular momentums, Planck's constants are the same and not quantized. Have a good afternoon. I will go on next. See you later.